Not a whole lot of zeros, folks. The U.S. debt clock ticking past the $13 trillion mark. But at the same time, some in Congress are forging ahead with bills that, if passed, will mean more spending and it will not be paid for. Eric Cantor's not happy about it. He's the Republican whip out of Virginia. Good morning to you and welcome back uh, here to America's Newsroom. Only the U.S. Congress would find a way, if I've got this right, to spend $300 billion before Memorial Weekend? Is that what's shaping I mean, up down there? I mean, is that insane, Bill? I mean, you, you got to think that people in this town would begin to realize we can't keep spending money we don't have. If there's an emergency and we're going to spend money, we got to pay for it. But the, the fact is, the bill that they're looking at passing before we leave here for Memorial Day, uh, you know, th these are tough times. We understand that people need, uh, that we need to address some problems, but this is not something that is an emergency that was unforeseen. These are extending programs that have been in place. Uh, we need to pay for this if but you're going to spend the, more money. Uh, some of the programs are critical, right? I mean, this is wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, it's security on the U.S.-Mexican border. I, how do we avoid not funding that? Well, well, Bill, absolutely. But this is about assessing priorities. Certainly national defense is a priority. Uh, it's not that we don't foresee these things coming. We should be funding our troops, without a doubt, to secure this country. But we've got to pay for it. You know, there is a mentality in this town that we just got to keep spending and we never can start cutting. Uh, and we're trying to change the culture here, Bill. We're trying to say you need to start cutting the deficit. You can't just keep spending money you don't have. Well, the, the, the number I have here is the bill would add $134 billion to the federal budget. And you question now whether that's smart or unavoidable. Uh, some are pushing in this bill for $23 billion to make sure that teachers are not laid off in certain parts of the country. Education is important, too, as you well know. You wonder if you go ahead and pay for it or if you force these school districts to find a, another place to get the money or to cut back. I mean, I mean how's that going over? Right, right. Again, it's assessing priorities. Some of the spending bill that they're talking about right now is extending uh, unemployment insurance, is extending COBRA coverage. You know, all these things in tough times certainly are worthwhile programs, but let's pay for them. We, it's not as if we didn't know they weren't coming. I mean, and part of this bill now is it extends unemployment insurance to 99 weeks. That's a far cry from the original intent just a few years ago of 26 weeks of unemployment insurance. Again, it gets back to the fact, Bill, that we need to start minding the store in terms of becoming more fiscally prudent here in Washington. And, and this past just week, like, uh, just like every American family has done, I think, not to right. finish your sentence entirely, but I mean, that's what we've heard time and time again from our viewers and everybody else who's talking about this issue. Uh, you launched a program this week, it's called UCUT, where you went out and you asked Americans, what program in the federal government would you slice first? And the number one winner is to eliminate the federal employee pay raise. What's that tell right, you, that's Congressman? Ex that's, that's exactly right, Bill. This is a program called UCUT, and you can just go and Google or Bing UCUT, Y-O-U-C-U-T. Each week, people are given an opportunity to select out of five choices or offer their own as to how we should best cut the federal deficit. This week's winner, with there are over 500,000 votes cast, this week's winner was to eliminate the federal employee pay raise. We're going to bring that up for a vote today on the House floor. Uh, and in fact, I believe that UCUT will begin to change the culture of spending here in Washington. Wow. We've heard noise, we've heard noise today, Bill, that the majority leader uh, in this Congress is asking committee chairmen to produce their suggestions for cutting spending because I believe that UCUT with over 500,000 votes cast by the American people is beginning to make a difference. Well, so we, we encourage we may your just, viewers. We may just spring a leak there in bipartisanship on the Hill. A bit later on this program, too. Eric Cantor, thank you for your time. Uh, we're out of time Thanks, this Bill. morning. You got it. 19 minutes past.